One thing I do eat a lot of are those planters peanuts. I, I was I, I saw the sale of this, and I know it's something that people had been anticipating that this was going to go. Um, it's one of many things that you've kind of streamlined and, and sold off as you've done this uh, restructuring, this big turnaround for the brand, for the entire company. Is this the the final sale? First of all, why planters, and and then second of all, are there other sales to come? Well, let me address the first why planters. I mean, clearly, you know, it's an iconic brand, and it, and it was, you know, we didn't do this lightly. At the same time, it does fit our strategy for us to continue to focus our portfolio in things that we believe we have more differentiated brands and places that I may not be as exposed to commodities, which now we do as, as a result of both our, our cheese divestitures and now our plan to sell. What I can tell you is that, you know, we continue to stay focused on the strategy we laid out back in September. So planters, part of our overall, you know, snacking portfolio, we want to continue to stay focused on that. And if you think about the overall decisions about how to think about our portfolio, we have said we want to be agile in our portfolio. We feel good about where we are in our balance sheets right now. And not everything is going to be divestitured. We're also going to be looking at options for acquisitions. But at the same time, we felt that this at this particular moment was the right thing to do for the business. And I think ultimately we end up with a much stronger portfolio as we go forward. Back in September, when you un unveiled those plans, you also said that you anticipated adjusted earnings per share would be up by two to three percent. You said yesterday um, that things will be better than that. What are you seeing that, that kind of makes you think that? Well, well, I'm sure that you have many guests here who can give you a much better view of how the economy is going to change over time. What I can tell you is that we started the year very well. We are seeing that through January and February. We are focused right now on our quarterly number, and we, we gave some suggestions about how the quarter is going to come out. Ultimately, as we think about the year, you know, we're going to be uh, providing more information as we continue to see how consumers are reacting in this economy. So we feel good, optimistic about the year, and we'll be able to update it as we you know, learn a little more about all these different things that can affect consumption, whether that is you know, the stimulus package that may happen, the different things of how consumers are going to react, unemployment uh, and situation. Those are all things that very much affect uh, our brands. Uh, but today we feel very good about where we are in the year and, and how we're starting. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.